too. It's cold today. It's real cold. I think it's like in the 50s or the 40s. But it's cold. I was going to make a video on how to make a homemade mud jug. Which it ain't a mud jug. It's just like something you could use until you get one. And I'm probably going to get mine in probably a couple weeks. Maybe a month. I am going to get one. What are we going to be dipping on today? We're going to be dipping on some Grizzly Premium Natural Fine Cut. I did, another, I did a video on that a while back. What else are we going to be dipping today? I got some Grizzly Straight. And I got some Grizzly Wintergreen, the good stuff. Get her straight, y'all. Get out of here, cat. We got some cats that want to come in here. So if y'all see one in the video, there she is. The demon cat herself. I don't like cats. I like dogs. We got some dogs over here in the pen. We'll show you them. We'll show you Bella. She's a pit bull. We'll show her. Show you her in the next video. Yeah, you can make this out of a Powerade bottle. I'll show y'all a video on that later on. Probably tomorrow. If I can find another Powerade bottle. But anyway. We're going to talk about something very important. How is schooling going to change? From the next years. In Georgia, we have a linear year test. It's called the CRCT test. And we take it every year to make sure we go on to the next grade. If you fill it, well, you're staying back. If you pass it, well, you're going to the next grade. And next year, they're actually thinking about, instead of doing the CRCT test like that, at the end of the year, they're going to put it like, quarters like two quarters you're gonna have a little test to take if you pass it that'll be okay and you'll start having to take tests on computers to see if you're eligible to pass and all that if you understand it it's just to get it's just more ways to get them to to get the teachers and learning experience on how to help kids learn and all that but I heard that from my teachers last year and I just figured I wanted to make a video on that I wish we were still back in the old days in schooling wise because back in the old days you didn't have all this hobby devil math you don't need the timetable to buy it and all the other stuff and just read and write and that's all you needed yeah I haven't seen a bunch of natural videos for any kind of natural deal. I know Mud Jug One that I watch his channel a lot. He um he gets natural, and then a couple other people on on there gets natural. We just now I'm 
gonna try me some Copenhagen Southern Blend, but I just gotta wait a little bit till my dip gets down low, cause I got a bunch of cans that I dip different dips for the day. And um, they got it for four dollars and seven cents. I ain't tried it. I'm gonna do a video on how I think it tastes. Sorry, I ain't talking much. It's cold. Very cold. Anyway, how, what are we going to talk about? How things have changed from the old days to the day. What are we going to talk about? Hmm. How has tobacco products changed TV wise? Used to, you could have back air commercials on TV and the people would be talking about it and all that, like Skull Winter Green, Skull Natural. You can actually look at some videos online and they'll show you commercials of them. Now they can't show commercials because all them people do the hate on dippers and the hate on smokers don't want it on there. Which I think is dumb. Which I'm pretty sure by now everybody knows about cigarettes and dipping, so they wouldn't have to do it anyway. But it's it's still be good to have like a Copenhagen T-shirt or Skull T-shirt, but they can't do it. Just like Mud Jug One said, they can't do it. He can't put no Mud Jug Skull Skull thing on the Mud Jug because they could sue him. Nowadays, you know, I'm trying to raise the age on buying dip, cigarettes. It don't matter how old they put it, people still gonna be buying it. Even if they gotta wait till they get in the 90s, they're 90 years old, they'll still buy it. Hey, it's just like, They shouldn't ban cigarettes and they shouldn't ban dip because that's what they're ultimately trying to do. They're trying to make trying to make people where they can't afford smoking and can't afford dipping. It's like they're, they're trying to do with dipping and smoke tobacco products what they did with um, liquor products back in the 50s or back in the 40s or sometime back, back in the old days in the 90s where they had their little Called. Anyway, they didn't want nobody to drink liquor, and for a long time there, they would moonshiners had to supply people with liquor, and that's how Al Capone and all them other boys made their money. That's what it's going to start being like to me. All these warning labels—they're trying to cut down, trying to make the age limit higher. It's just gonna be like that. There's gonna be people out there just like the moonshiners when it, when it comes down to it. And they're gonna start doing cigarettes and dipping like they did drinking. And we're gonna have us some some um, cigarette runners or some dip runners. <laughs> be sure to watch the new moonshiners. I think it comes on next Wednesday. Or it might be next Thursday. It comes on um, November the 8th or November the 9th at, I think, 8 o'clock or it might be 9 o'clock. Just check your Dish Network thing. They'll tell you when it is. If y'all didn't see my other video, i showed you how to cut the cans out. And I got my cans on there. I think I showed y'all last time. Anyway, get her straight. The way it slips off your tongue. Get her straight. Mm. Yep. You know, today be a good day to be in a deer stand. Today be a good day to be in a deer stand. And I bet you deer are moving right now. Because I know this cold weather is done. Hey, 
cold water back a couple weeks ago to them and push them in rut. Even though they're usually rutting in on the middle of October. But right now is when they start rutting real good. In the middle of November by Thanksgiving. Big book at Thanksgiving, you ain't gonna kill him. That's a lie. So the day after thanks the day after Thanksgiving or whatever, after November, he shot the ten point. Or was it an eight? It was a 10 point. Y'all wanna see his deer that he shot? Hang on. Let me get him. This is the one that my uncle had to shot. He's holding the camera right now. This is the 10 that he shot. Beautiful one, ain't it? Yeah. Take it to school tomorrow and just wear it like this, like, you know what the fuck you gonna do, huh? And turn around like, oh shit, they're shooting at me, run! Yeah, I think I'm... Somebody come to school like that, but... You got fur and a white tail. I'm gonna shoot you. Well, man, you're one of them mule deer. It's just... You look funny, so we're going to shoot you. We can't let you breathe with all the other people. Yeah. That's it for today, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it.